But now, forgive me. I must take to the skies once again. Very funny. <laughs> the noble Lord Flashheart still eludes me. I think you'll find he's overrated. Bad breath and impotent, they say. Sensual <laughs> <laughs> innuendo! <laughs> but enough of this. As you say in England, I must fly. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I will master this humor after all, yeah? I wouldn't be too optimistic. <laughs> He's a little fellow. If you get lonely in the night, I'm in the old chateau. There's no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Bradford! <laughs> Is it really true, sir? Is the war really over for us? Yep. Out of the war and teaching nuns how to boil eggs. For us, the great war is finito. A war that would be a damp sight simpler if we just stayed in England and shot 50,000 of our men a week. <laughs> no more mud, death, rats, bombs, shrapnel, whiz-bangs, barbed wire and those bloody awful songs that have the word whoops in the title. <laughs> Damn, he's, he's left the door open. Oh, good, we can escape, sir. Are you mad, Baldrick? I'll find someone to lock it for us. Shush, keep in. Mum's the word, not half or what? <laughs> <laughs> sir, why did you just slam the door on Lieutenant George? I can't believe it. Go away! <laughs> it's, him, it's me, it's me! But what the hell are you doing here? Oh, never mind the hows and the whys and the do you mind if I don't? <laughs> A simple man to get in here. Well, it's funny you should say that because, uh, as it happens, I did have some help from a rather spiffing bloke. He's taken a break from some crucial top level shagging. <laughs> it, it, it's me! Hooray! <laughs> Dog's potatoes, George! You said noble brother flyers were in the lurch. If I'd known you meant old slack bladder and the mound of the hound of the Baskervilles, <laughs> I'd probably have let them stew in their own juice. And let me tell you, if I ever tried that, I'd probably drown! <laughs> Still, since I'm here, I may as well do it! As the bishop said to the netball team. Come on, chums! Ah! Uh, oh! Ah! Uh, Come on! Uh, yes, Skip. look, I'm, I'm sorry, chaps, but I've splintered my pancreas. Uh, <laughs> I seem to have this terrible cough. Cards! Cards! Wait, 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 wait a minute. Now, I may be packing the kind of tackle that you'd normally expect to find swinging about between the hind legs of a grand national winner. <laughs> but I'm not totally stupid. I've got the kind of feeling you'd rather we hadn't come. No, 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 I'm very grateful. It's just that I'd slow you up. I think I'm beginning to understand. Uh, are you? Huh. Just because I can give multiple orgasms to the furniture just by sitting <laughs> doesn't mean that I'm not sick of this damn war. The blood, the noise, the endless poetry. <laughs> Is that really what you think, Flashard? Of course it's not what I think. Now get out that door before I redecorate that wall in an interesting new colour called Hint of Brain. <laughs> well, that's clear. Let's get back to that lovely wall then. Woof! Woof! Mark! <laughs> Oh, damn, foiled again. What bad luck. Ah, and the Lord Flashart. This is indeed an honor. Finally, the two greatest gentlemen flyers in the world meet. Two men of honor who have jousted together in the cloud strewn glory of the skies. Face to face at last. How often I have rehearsed this moment of destiny in my dreams. The valor we to encapsulate. The unspoken nobility of our comradeship. <laughs> <laughs> 